Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets opened a series in Cincinnati and had their biggest offensive day of the season. 14 runs, 5 home runs, 18 hits as they wall up the Reds 14 to 5. Where would you like to start? Well, let's say who hit the home runs, folks. Granderson, n- numero 17. Flores, 3. Darno, 13. Herrera, number 2, a bomb. Due to 27, gets the three to three away from 30. Uh, big days from David Wright had four hits. Uh, also, uh, Duda had three hit, a uh, one hit, a three run, sh- two run shot, at three RBIs. Darno had a big four RBI day. Granderson had a four RBI day. So it was one of those games where the Mets just w- w- went to school, took the Reds to school, had a great offensive performance. I'm um, just trusting the process and um, keeping things simple. Like I've said, since I've been back up and uh, and just having fun with all the guys here. Everyone's great, and, and we all just joke around, have fun all day. I'm just uh, putting good swings. I mean, the uh, the power is there. Uh, <clears throat> just the fact that I need to get a good pitch and uh, put a good swing on it. Like I say, my power is there, and uh, if I get good pitches, the uh, power is going to come. You know, it's something you always hope happens when they first get here, but some guys, it takes a little time to learn you know, how to drive the ball at this level and how they're going to pitch you and what you have to do. And, and Wilmer, is, you know, everybody said he's going to hit. And so far he's shown that. He and, the, you know, and Travis, um, you know, have come here and uh, after some slow starts in the beginning and have shown, you know, exactly what they can do offensively. Uh, Granderson dropped to sixth in the batting order with his uh, latest slump. Things have been going so badly for Granderson. And his first time, I forget about the home run, first time up took one the other way for an RBI yes. double, and I guess that's a good sign. Well, he took it not only the other way, he took it down the left field line, something we haven't seen from Curtis most of the year. He's a dead pool hitter, but he hit a bomb in right field, had a nice, nice day in the seventh hole. Maybe it took a little pressure off of him. I think just change in general is always a good thing, no matter what you end up having to do. It could be a slight modification. It could be moving up and down the line. If it could be a day off, it could be a position change. Whatever it happens to be, change has always been a good thing, especially over the course of my career. So to have a couple days off and obviously to move into a different spot of the lineup, which is something I've done over my whole career, you know, it definitely ended up working out today, and we'll see what ends up happening again tomorrow. You know, you hope it really jump starts him. You know, he's um, you know, he's really struggled, and he knows it, and he's worked hard, and um, you know, to get hit a home run like that, I, I think it's going to get him going. Um, talk to him before the game about, you know, if he had any issues where he moving down the lineup, and he said absolutely none. So, and that's his personality. He just, hey, wherever you want to put me, put me. And, uh, you know, I hope, hope a lot of the other guys hear that same type of, uh, you know, because he's got, he's got the makeup that, you know, it takes to be a good player here. But it was a hit parade today. When you get 18 hits, these are laughers. Everybody loves it. Everybody had a good day at the plate. And Cologne was the beneficiary of all these runs and wins his 13th. I mean, he was sick. He, you know, had he been feeling good, he would have gone nine tonight. But um, he's had a real bad cold the last couple of days. And uh, when the game started today, I asked Dan if how, you know, how, how he felt. And Dan said, well, I know he doesn't feel good. But, you know, he said he's okay. And, and fortunately, he settled down and gave us some good innings. I mean, he battled through those first two innings, and he went out there and competed and, and finished out with seven innings. I mean, that's huge for us. Um, you know, kept our bullpen's arms fresh, and, and uh, we really needed that, and he, and he came through for us. Cologne struggled early, but went seven, allowed two runs, seven hits to get the win. So the Mets are now 3-1 and one on the road trip. They'll play game two of the series on Saturday afternoon, a 4 o'clock start here in Cincinnati. Dylan G goes for the Mets. Johnny Cueto, the Reds' ace, will pitch for Cincinnati. Our coverage begins with Pepsi pregame live at 3.30 Saturday afternoon on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.